Now let's concentrate on how we calculate the cost of debt. The before tax cost of debt would be the yield to maturity of the bonds. Notice that it is the yield to maturity, not necessarily the coupon rate. The after tax cost of debt would be that before tax cost of debt times one minus the tax rate. The reason why we have to adjust for taxes is that the interest is tax deductible, but the other sources of capital uh, do not, or the uh, the returns to the investors of the other sources of capital are not tax deductible, namely the dividends. So because the tax code gives preference to interest, we have to account for that, that basically the government subsidizes that expense on uh, the debt. Now recall that the free cash flows when we calculated the net present value of projects did not include the interest expense and therefore couldn't account for the deductibility of interest. So we're handling that now in the weighted average cost of capital, which will discount those cash flows. For example, we have a firm with these bonds, 10% semi-annual coupon bonds, um, each with a par value of $1,000 and they all mature in 20 years. One bond sells for $840, corporate tax rates 21%. We want to calculate ultimately the after-tax cost of debt. So this is a review from bonds, how you would calculate the yield to maturity, we would input these values into the financial calculator to get the discount rate, which would be on a six month basis because these are semi-annual periods. We need to remember to annualize to get a before tax cost of debt of 12.15%. We multiply the before tax cost of debt by one minus the tax rate, giving us an after tax cost of debt of 9.6%.